So this is our last example, and it's saying that the engine of a train exacts a force of 35,000 newton on a train of mass 240 tons and draws it up a slope of 1 in 120 against the resistance total into 60 newton z per ton. So we can begin by trying to see driving force. Uh, this is the driving force, eh? force exacted by the train. Eh? Driving force, I can call it P, is equaling to 35,000 newtons. And then mass of the train is equivalent to 240 tons, but I can multiply by exponent 3 to bring it into kilograms, because one ton is equivalent to 1,000 eh? kilograms, one ton. So I multiply by that to change it into kilograms. And then we are saying the slope. Slope, we can say sine theta equaling to 1 out of 1. As we explained that, this is the rise per slope there. So that is 1 in 120. So if I have here a theta the opposite over, a hypotenuse, which will give us eh, that. And then resistance that I can call R1, the same is equivalent to 60 newtons per ton. Isn't it? So that means that one ton is having a resistance of 60 newton. Now, supposing we have that ton of the tray of 240 tons will be equivalent to what? It will be 60 out of 1 times 240. And that is it. Some value. So let's press together and see what actually happens with that. And that is 14,400. Okay? So that means that is 14,400 newtons for that resistance. So they're saying that find acceleration. So it is going to travel up a slope okay so it is going to travel up a slope if this is the theta it's going to move up it is not a massive case but it's always very important to do something of the kind such as five thousand newtons and then i have mg sine theta which is what is my mg sine theta mg sine theta my m is 240 exponent 3 times g is 2.9 and then out of 1 20 so that i put one single value that is the mg sine theta so that means that i say 240 exponent 3 times 9.8 we get that divided by 120 so this one is equivalent to 19600 newton and then the resistance here the thing is 14 400 newton and it's going to accelerate up and is that exact acceleration that they needed this one is m g sin theta the component of the weight of the body that is pulling it in down so we can now say using fr equaling to mo where fr is the resultant force force in the direction of motion minus force opposing it motion and the force in the direction of motion in this case is the 35,000 minus the forces opposing motion is the 19600 plus the 14 400 equaling to it is, should be equal to MA. Okay, my M is 240 exponent 3 A. Then it so let's see what is true with this one here. So you press that. That will give me this will be 35 zero, zero minus 
34 that should be equal to 240 exponent 3 a and then you can now subtract that it is 1000 you can try pressing sorry That is 1000 as confirmed to 240 exponent 3a divided by 240 exponent 3. And then even there, I can divide by 240 exponent 3. So I can now say divide by 240 exponent 3. And this is 4.1667 exponent negative 3. This one is telling me it is the same as 0 0.0041234161667. Therefore, the acceleration is 0 0.0042 0 .0 meters per second and that is the solution to this kind of problem let's meet in our next part